simple, practical, and continuously improving. I've been using Arrow OS since the day that I last reviewed a custom ROM, and my experience with it has been amazing. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. This is Rishabh from Ascending Techie and today we're going to talk about Arrow OS 11 for the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1 based on Android 11. So as usual, let's start with installation. Head on to their website arrowos.net and download their ROM. I downloaded the version with gapps built in and make sure you clean flash the OS for the first time. Backups and restore work great as the gapps are built in. Like their homepage says, Arrow OS is indeed simple, neat and clean with only the necessary stuff and features which reduces the chances of encountering bugs with customization. So you have all the Android settings and a few settings for gestures and buttons in the settings menu. The default launcher is Arrow OS launcher which is very similar to Pixel launcher but it also means that I lost my home layout from Pixel launcher and would have to set it up back again when I switched to Arrow OS. Although it seems annoying at first, there are still some features under the hood like enable or disable the search bar, hide or lock the apps as well as the ability to use different icon packs baked right into the launcher. If there was anything that I would like here, it would be the search bar position. It is on the top by default and I was used to having it at the bottom which is much easier to access and makes good use of the empty space below. I have not had any issues with safety net tests as they pass and I am able to use all the payment apps which are necessary for daily driving like Paytm, GPay and BOB's M Banking mobile app. But most importantly, there's something new that we need to talk about this time, which we never got the chance to talk about previously. This is because no one does it well and no one does it this frequently. Of course, I'm talking about updates. Most ROMs are updated monthly while Arrow OS is updated at least weekly from what I can tell. It would be more faster than that, but certainly not slower. This means that bugs are being fixed quickly. When I installed it, there was no face unlock but one or two updates later, they added it as well which was the only thing I found lacking on this ROM. This addition of features over the updates is so welcome. You can even use face unlock to open your payment apps which is something that I've never seen before on any other custom ROM. Normally, you would need the fingerprint or you would have to put in the pin to access your payment apps which are locked by default. So hats off to the developer Pranav KPR for maintaining this ROM very well. RAM management as far as I can tell is great. Similarly, gaming performance is great on this ROM because I've tested it with Real Racing 3 and a few other games and I've never had any issues with the performance. For battery, fast charging is working great for me and I'm back to more than 7 hours of screen on time on the same battery. 7 hours and 46 minutes with 10% battery left is exceptional considering that this device is almost 2.5 to 3 years old. So overall, Air OS is a great, clean and good performing OS which receives more updates than most of the apps installed on your phone. The update feature is also very simple. Just download the update and install and the ROM takes care of everything. You don't need to go to recovery and do something yourself manually. It works just like OTA updates. So if you're looking to update to something new, which is simple out of the box and is clean and performs much better then Arrow OS is the way to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, be kind to everyone.